Travel. I'm Jess and today I am so happy that you guys are here because we've officially left Slovakia and we find ourselves in a completely new country. I'd like to welcome you guys to Hungary, specifically to the Queen of the Danube. It's capital city. We are here in the beautiful Budapest and guys I'm so beyond excited. This place has called my attention for so long and I can't wait to bring you guys along to see this beauty of a city and everything it has to offer so come along with me today and let's discover this place let's go we start our journey right here in the middle of Fisherman's Bastion. It is actually an iconic, iconic viewing terrace and everybody that thinks of Budapest, thinks of this beautiful place, an excellent terrace to get some of the best views of the city and I wanted to bring you guys up here. It is located on Buda Hill near to Buda Castle and everything else surrounding it. called Fisherman's Bastion. Well, it's actually done in honor of the Fisherman Guild that defended the city during the medieval ages and they decided to honor them by giving it that name. So I think that's really, really cool. And now we're walking towards the church, guys. It's amazing. I want to show you guys the tiles if you want to take a look up there. Definitely super cute. guys that was quite a walk just kidding <laughs> I actually took the hop on hop off shadow so we made it here in about two minutes and honestly if you want to walk it's not that bad of a walk for me personally it is about 90 degrees outside today so I decided to splurge and take on the shadow but it brought me right here to Old Town and we're standing right in front of the Old Town Tower which it's pretty impressive if you ask me. This whole old town it has a vibe. It's like a little town in and of itself. I feel like it's definitely worth coming up here to Buda Hill because you get a totally, totally different experience for what you're gonna get in the Buda and Pesh side. So I'm excited to show you guys. Let me give you a look. tower you are occasionally going to have exhibitions of different types but for me today I'm kind of time crunched so I'm not quite going to check any of the exhibitions out but if you are here for about a week do make sure that you take a stop and enjoy whatever it is that they're offering for that day. Now this little plaza right here in front of the tower is really interesting so I urge you to take at least a few minutes because whenever you walk by it may feel like there's not a lot to offer but I feel like there is if you just take a quick minute to take a glance around. is that if you stop by Budini's house over here and you go straight down the little hidden streets it actually takes you to get some of the best views of the Buddha side. Now as you guys know Budapest is actually the combination of two cities coming together joining forces and combining their name therefore Buddha and Pesh became Budapest. So this spot right here it's great 
<laughs> and it gives you a totally different feel, which is kind of what I like about it, honestly. It's more of a down-to-earth, everyday feel. So, that I'll share. So guys, Budapest is actually a beautiful city, but it's also a very crowded city with lots of tourists. So some of the things that I like about this place is that you can actually take a break from everything and maybe just kind of stroll through here. And those are honestly facts that I like about it. here on Buddha Hill and it's this iconic castle right behind me guys that is the Buddha castle again it gives you amazing views of the city specifically the Pesh side and of course the chain bridge which is getting some work done right now so not the best of time but you still get to see the rest of the city and admire this beauty so before we leave this place I wanted to give you guys a quick glance at the beauty of Buddha Hill shops, cafes, and even a grocery store. And it's actually really close to Buddha Hill. So I thought, why not? Let's go check it out. It's supposed to be exciting to look at. Oh, and they caught my attention because they said there were tennis halls, right? And I used to play tennis in college. So don't think I was all that, okay? Nothing like that. <laughs> but I was like, <laughs> no, but I was like, let me go check it out, see what it looks like. <laughs> I said, oh my god, it would be such a lovely walk. Like, you can see the Dadoo River, the Parliament, and we cross the bridge, and we get to drink our coffee, you know? Now, given it's 96 degrees outside, so maybe not the brightest of ideas, 
but Adrian keeps looking back at the stop where the hop on hop on is. I'm still in time. Like if it arrives, I can run back and, and get on it. He's like, he's like, I'll see you over there. We normally don't take hop on hop off, but because we kind of wanted to treat ourselves a little bit here in Budapest. Uh, we decided to like, you know, make it a little easier on Adrian because he's always the one with all the maps behind the scenes getting us from point A to point E, F, G. <laughs> so, but now we're going to walk and enjoy this beautiful view and the hop on hop off will probably wave at Adrian from far away. Yes. <laughs> That's it. So now that you made it to the bridge, how's the walk? I have no comment right now. <laughs> I almost flagged down the hop on hop on. <laughs> Which is, it just arrived actually. <laughs> it's so hot! <laughs> so as you can see behind us, a hop on hop off bus. But you know, to be fair, it doesn't stop on the bridge. We're actually on Margaret uh, Bridge. Yes. Um, it's one of the many bridges that are on the, the new river here. Yes. So, but it's pretty cool. It's uh, you can kind of see. I'll pan the camera this way. You can kind of see the Parliament, the Castle, Buddha Hill. Um, it's a pretty nice view. You can walk. You can walk the bridge uh, across to the Pest side from the Buddha side to the Pest side. And also here we see Margaret Island. Uh, I think it's a park, right? It is. It's actually an incredible green space that lays right in between the Danube River, guys. And it's about 2.5 kilometers, which is crazy to think about, yeah. just how big it is. So it's very famous, and as a park lover myself, I had to see it. <laughs> it's a must. Now, I have to say, guys, as plain as I am right now, <laughs> I do have to say it is quite an experience to actually walk on the bridge. So I have to admit that that's pretty badass. We came across this bridge yesterday on the hop on hop off, and it was cool, but to actually be walking it and seeing it from this perspective, I highly recommend it. Even if you have a fear of heights, I recommend that you do it because it's, it's pretty kick ass. Yeah. yeah if you are crossing uh, Margaret Bridge, you can actually go to Margaret Island. Yes. Uh, on foot. On so, foot. And, and also the tram, if you take the tram, it actually stops in the middle of this bridge here. So you can take the tram number six or number four. It crosses this uh, bridge. This area. And it stops right in the middle where you can get off and then walk right into the island. So, pro tip. Pro tip, and it's pretty easy. Yeah. Guys, Margaret Island, it's really a beautiful place. It's full of trees, benches, family activities, and most of all, it is free to the public. You can come here, sit down, grab a book, enjoy the water fountains, and just relax. I love it because it actually provides you with a break from the hustle of Budapest. And you can actually just have some downtime where it doesn't cost a penny. Yeah. And here's the thing though, if you do feel like being generous and you do feel like spending money on an activity, this is also a great place to come because they have an aviary and they do take donations because they cater to injured birds, oh, nice. owls, and anything of that sort that they find within this compound and other transfers. So I think it's just a very, you know, a very worthy cost. Yeah. So if you're here, it's also good for you to go check it out and give them a donation and then just continue to enjoy your day and listen to the birds and it's really nice. Yeah. I'm enjoying myself. Yeah, me too. fountain and that's because the fountain goes along to the tune of the songs that it's playing and you can sit here and enjoy the music concert while watching the water.
super enjoyed it. And the walk has given us quite an appetite. Yes, it has. So we are going to go to one of our favorite places to eat near here. And you're going to come with us because we can't wait to show it to you. Let's do it. Let's go. It is actually a working parliament. They have offices, everything in there. It's amazing to just look at the neo-Gothic architecture style that they did on the parliament. Now, one of the cool things about this building is that you can catch an awesome view from this spot that we are, where we are currently at, and also from across the Danube, like we showed you guys earlier. So you cannot miss this place. And check out the infinity pool that we're standing right next to. It's super hot, and in this spot right here, feels like we have our own private AC. <laughs> there is a lot of communism history right in this square, so if you're into seeing the progress that Hungary has made from that stage on, definitely worth to take a look at all the statues and what each one of them represent as they headed on their way to a new stage. came just around the corner so we can walk by the Danube River over here as you can see we're still near the parliament but this time it's the other side the one that's facing the river and the other side of the city and this specific area is actually really important to the Hungarian people because it remembers a dark point in time and it honors the lives of those who were here at that point so we're going to take you to that memorial so you can have a moment to look at that spot made it to yet another spot here on this promenade. Now it's important for you to remember this place with respect. Now here you have an exhibition of bronze shoes and most tourists may not know the true story behind the shoes. Some may, but just so you know, this actually represents the lives and honors the lives of those people who died during the anti-fascist movement here in Hungary. Now about 6,000 people were lined up in this same area and they were shot to their deaths. Among them, 800 Jews perished. 
so the shoes are set here to remember all those who perished on that day and whose bodies landed on the Danube. It's a really dark part of history, but the government has set up the shoes in remembrance of those lives. And it's important when you come here to not only take your picture, but also maybe hold a moment of silence just for all those um, who did not make it. <laughs> All right, so we are leaving the, the New River Bank and we're heading towards the Basilica into the city on the Pest side. Yes. It's a little hot, so hopefully the shade of the buildings would help us cool off a little cool bit. Cool off because I did not expect this heat or maybe we just spend way too much time outside of Texas that we become wimpy. Because <laughs> most Texans are looking at us right now like 96 degrees and you guys are complaining. I know. So we'll cross the street here. I don't think it's a crossing, but it's not a crossing. Go, go! Oh go, my go. God! <laughs> We're gonna get run over. <laughs> Jess is trying to get free mist from a restaurant she is not eating at. Right here. Like seriously, free. what is wrong with you? Why do you free. call me out on things like this? Free mist. Free mist for everybody. She's not the only one. Free mist. Oh, that does feel good actually. <laughs> I know. I know. Guys, I can honestly tell you that we have made it. We are looking at the Basilica straight from us. It looks amazing. And this little stop right here in the corner is a great view to stop, admire it, and take a picture. Have a look. And here it is, the beautiful St. Stephen's Basilica standing 65 meters up into the air right behind me, guys. Now, this church right here is a very important religious site for all Hungarians, and it stands for the first king ever of Hungary, hence the name St. Stephen. Now, guys, if you do have a head for heights, you can actually make it all the way up to the dome and see the city, or you can just hang out in the beautiful plaza, or of course, go into the church. Now, keep in mind, because today it is a hot day, if you come here on a super hot day, make sure that you have your knees and your shoulders covered, or you will not be allowed inside the church, because there is a dress code. So for us, Adrian and I are gonna chill in this beautiful square and admire the architecture of the church. Wasn't that beautiful, guys? It's amazing. But since we are here, what are we gonna do, Adrian? I got an eye on an ice cream shop just around the corner the other day, and I've, every time we've passed it like 20 times already, I've been wanting some ice cream. Because he and wants the perfect, beautiful little rose ice cream. I have to admit, I do. <laughs> and <laughs> that is what we're going to go do, and I can't wait. So when you're here, don't miss out on the opportunity take a pretty picture and savor some delicious ice cream. Let's do it. Let's go. Oh, guys, it looks like there's a line. So, that always means it's good. Always. I think. <laughs> always. <laughs> so, guys, we continue to wait, but we are getting closer. Yes. So, there's hope. <laughs> We're actually talking about the name. It's called Gelato Rosa. It's kind of weird to say, but hey. Uh, like a gelato, I guess. Yeah, so if there's any Hungarians out there, you guys want to tell us yeah. <laughs> what's up with that? Because you know us, we, we say gelato. Yeah. Yeah, so. Looking forward to trying both of these and possibly Jack and Adrian's, but we'll see. That's about right. <laughs> yep, and she went for it. <laughs> oh man, that's tough. <laughs> Do you need another try? <laughs> no, 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 no. All right, I'll be giving it back to Adrian. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> it's like the ice cream is walking. <laughs> so guys, now we have our ice creams. One of the best places to come after 
going through that is to come and hang out here at Joseph and Tyla Square. And pretty much it's a square where you can find cafes, pubs, more than anything, souvenirs galore. So that's what you're looking for. This is your strip. And that's what I'm looking for. So souvenirs. Souvenirs. And one of the crazy things about here is that Hungarians are big on paprika. Paprika and sour cream. So you actually see the paprika spices as souvenirs, which I think is super cool. The Italians do pasta bags, the French do macaroons. So it's really cool to come walk through here to see the little packages of paprika. I will be taking none because as you guys know, we travel full time. We can't really take our spices with us. But if you're here, cool. So while you are in this area, a must not miss, it's Fashion Street where you're going to find all shops, anything that calls to your heart, you can find it here. And now this strip was done in an effort to revitalize the streets close to the Ferris wheel. So it's definitely good to come and support the community. So shop, shop, shop. along with us so let's go so we finally found a restaurant to our liking and it's called taste me restaurant taste me restaurant and so far very romantic environment yes. and lots of good food and i got the schnitzel chicken for the beer So guys, another thing that you can do here in Budapest at night is check out the Jewish Quarter, one of the trendiest areas in the whole capital. Now, if you want to come here during the day, you will still find lots of fun, but it really comes alive at night, and that is when most of the pubs, 
open up and the party begins. So it's a good way to check it out. <laughs> and what we're gonna do is uh, there's this uh, ruins bar, which it's an old abandoned building. They just put a bar inside. It's kind of like a thing here in Budapest. This yes. is the original one, so we're gonna go check it out and uh, see what it's like. Yeah, lots of them. Let's go. All right, so. So do keep in mind that the lines are gonna be long. Shocker! <laughs> I didn't know. Shocker, right? So actually, like that's how back the line goes, maybe more than a block. So, yeah. Uh, but yeah, so this is the original ruins bar, and yeah. I mean, it's a cool concept and everything. But it's amazing, uh, and I think we may still check it out during the daytime. We would probably be in line until three in the morning. Yeah, it's midnight right now, so like we have to kind of like look into that. But we're gonna go check it out to see. I don't know, maybe we can, you know, like nudge the bouncer or something. But it's not gonna happen. I don't know. But I'll tell you what may happen. A different bar. Different bar. So, so they sell, they, and just so you guys know, this is not the only place. There's lots of brewing bars yeah. here. They become very popular. So you have your pick. We're a little obsessed with this place and we may just make it happen. But if you are here, you don't want to stand in line. Plenty of places that you can check out. The line's are pretty fun, so. two in the morning yes and we're about to pass the duna kebab we're gonna get a duna kebab <laughs> on the way in no. but yeah we were there for about two hours it was really fun uh it was kind of like look i'll be I'll, i am gonna be the first one to admit this i thought it was a pub okay it, on, on google it said the first uh ruin bar pub yes so i was like during the day guys i was like a pub day. it is a club it is, so. yeah, it was so much fun. Huge shout out to our Cuban brother who yes. hooked us up. Uh, we made it in four minutes after we talked to you guys. Yeah, so the so. bouncer was from Cuba and because we are Latin. Latin blood sticks together. That, uh, that's the card we always like, you know, we put we down fly, on the table. And, and it we always... do the same in return, yeah, you know, it's so. just an unspoken bond amongst yeah. Latin whenever you find yourself outside of Latin yeah. America, so it's so fun. <laughs> so now we are on our way to the apartment. Yes, calling so now we're going to yeah, call it a night. We're going to call it a walk. We're on two in the morning in the streets of Budapest. And I had to say, I did not want to leave you guys. I had a hard time. I was like, I don't want to go. But safety first. You know, we can't be roaming the streets at four in the morning, so. No, okay. uh, and so how are today tomorrow? So we do. So, off we go. Off we go. I still want to be jumping to the techno because I have a thing for techno. She does. <laughs> All right. All right. Let's, let's make it home. in there guys so if you feel like coming over and catching the show make sure you get your tickets in advance because this place gets sold out fast and the ticket prices are actually quite affordable starting around 500 forints so if that is your thing make sure that you come over and check this place out wow the opera house truly is a beauty but i have so much more to show you and i want you to come with me so let's go check out Of 
you to Hero Square. Hero Square marks the end of Andersey Avenue and is home to an iconic monument that depicts the seven chieftains who are believed to have led the Hungarian people from Central Asia to the Carpathian Basin. But not only that, it makes for a great photo op and it is your duty as a tourist here in Budapest to stop in this very place right in the middle and snap that selfie so make sure that you don't miss out on that. You can also do that, yeah. which I find that pretty cool. So, what do you say we walk over? Yeah, let's see uh, what this park has to offer. Let's do it. Let's go. depending on the season that you come. Now if you get lucky enough and come on a Saturday, you may just bump into a local market. So definitely worth to make an adventure of it. So come along with us because we're gonna show you one today. We are our next spot in one of the most visited places here in Budapest. Now Budapest is a city that actually lies on top of mineral waters and as such throughout the years lots of bathhouses have opened up here in the city and they advertise the mineral benefits of the water. Now the ones behind me, the baths behind me, are the oldest and more popular ones. They have inside pools and outside pools and everything in between, including a beer spa where you can sink yourself into the beer with the thermal waters and have unlimited beer as well. So that's pretty cool. So this has been super cool. How about you? I think so. I think we gotta keep moving on. Let's go. Do it.
reservation before you go in there because the lines get incredibly long. However, you are still allowed to go in there and admire it and maybe just get a little glimpse of it. And now I'm going to continue walking here through the Jewish Quarter. Now, the Jewish Quarter is also known as the 7th District here in Budapest. And aside from being one of the edgier neighborhoods at night, it also comes with plenty of history, just like the Great Synagogue or this beautiful Jewish memorial that commemorates the lives of all the Hungarian Jews who once resided here. Now, at night, this whole memorial lights up and people stop here for a moment of silence while they read story of what it commemorates. just sitting down and enjoying the view. That's what we're doing. galore, Liberty Square, the marketplace, and the list could go on 
but unfortunately I can't fit it all in one video so you guys have to make sure to explore it on your own one day now guys it is from this very place that I'm gonna give you my last recommendation for your trip when you come to Budapest make sure that you guys do not miss one of the most amazing sunsets across Europe make sure that you come here to the Danube River and sit down and just soak it all in, live in the moment and watch the sunset. And with that said, I'm gonna tell you guys thank you so much for watching, keep thriving. And if you like this video, please make sure to subscribe, like, and don't forget to click that little bell. And that is it for us today. Stay happy, stay safe, and we'll see you guys next time from who knows where.